Hi guys, it's Dale from Lux BMX back again with another product video for you today. Today we're going to be looking at tyres and everything you need to know when selecting a new set for your bike. First and foremost, the most important thing you need to think about when we're talking about getting a new set of tyres for your bike is what style of riding you're going to be doing. So depending on this will dictate what tyre I would recommend and I guess if you're a bit of an all-rounder you'll try to find something that's going to be versatile and will work for what you're trying to achieve. We'll start with street as there's a couple of things that we need to look at when we're buying a street tyre. Firstly, we've got the Federal Command tyre in a 20 by 2.4 sizing. Federal, along with a couple other brands, have started doing something a little bit more special with their street tyres. They offer two different compounds for these two tyres. So the one that I have here right now is the low pressure version of the tyre. They also offer a high pressure version. There is a slight change in a specifically the sidewall of these tires that allows you to run less PSI than you would normally have to. The minimum on these is going to be 35, uh, max is going to be 60. Whereas the high pressure version, the minimum is generally going to be around that 60 mark and then you're going to be going up to about 120 or thereabouts depending on your brand. For those street riders out there that do a lot of rail rides and that sort of thing, running less PSI can actually really assist with that. It's gonna give you a little bit more grip. That's why they've gone down this route of doing two different sidewall options, which gives you the two different PSI ratings. Next up, we're going to be looking at the Cinema Williams tire. So again, street orientated tire, gonna have a nice smooth center section along with some big chunky sidewall grip with a lot of knurling on it. The smooth center section is going to give you a reasonably fast rolling tire, even at low PSI. And then the knurling on the sidewall offers you quite a lot of grip. Realistically, this would work as both a park and dirt tire. However, it's just not going to be able to take the PSI that you necessarily are going to want to run for both those styles of riding. The other thing about these is they now come in 2.5 inches wide which is massive. They were one of the first tires to do this and there are a couple of brands that have followed suit. So if you're looking for a street tire, definitely can't go past these. For all you dirt dogs out there and possibly one of the most famous riders ever put his name onto this tire. So this is the Odyssey Aitken Nobby tire, specifically designed with dirt riding in mind. And this is gonna be a fantastic tire for you. I would be looking at running it more, like, more than likely on the front as modern trails are a lot smoother than they used to be and you're not necessarily going to need the super knobby tire both front and rear. However, it's up to you. If you want to run knobby tires front and rear, you certainly can. They also offer a street version of this tire and a lot of people will tend to run the knobby on the front and then the street version on the back, which is just going to be that little bit smoother, a little bit faster rolling. For you dirt dogs, definitely one to look out for. Lastly, Maxxis Grifter. Everyone's heard about these. You've probably seen them on your friends' bikes. You may even run them yourself. Great all-round tire. Another thing that these do that we haven't touched on yet is the option of either having a wire bead or a foldable bead tire. Pros and cons to both. So a wire beaded tire is generally going to be a little bit stronger, a little bit stiffer sidewall because of that wire bead. However, they aren't the lightest things in the world. Even though this is a 2.4 inch tire, it's going to be lighter than the majority of the tires I've just shown you. This means that for you park rats out there that are trying to save weight wherever you can, it's going to be a good choice for you. Also offers a range of sizing varying from super skinny all the way up to these 2.4s that are really quite a wide tire. Definitely gonna recommend these if you're looking for something that's fast rolling and is going to be able to handle everything whilst shaving a little bit of weight. As always guys, if you have any questions about any of the tires you've seen today or any of the other tires listed on our website, please feel free to shoot us an email to help at luxbmx.com or Facebook or Instagram. See you in the next product video. Cheers.